how do we make a code disk? Well, using the code disk, you can send messages to your friend that are very hard for anyone else to read. Of course, your friend must have the same version of disk that you have. First, I'll show you how to make the disks, and then I'll explain how to use them. Start off by drawing three concentric circles on a piece of paper. The circles must be divided into 26 segments for the alphabet. This is the most difficult part. Dividing the 30, 360 degrees of the circle by 26 gives an angle of just less than 14 degrees. The way I did this is shown in the diagrams below. I cut out a circle from card and measured one segment of nearly 14 degrees and cut out the segment. Then I used a, pen, a drawing pin to overlap the paper with the card. Uh, I used a pencil to mark out each segment as the card was rotated. You may have to do this several times to get it right. This shows you the paper overlapped by the card. I could spin the uh, card round marking off each segment in turn. giving this uh, segmented paper. Around the outer circle we put letters from the alphabet A to Z but this has got to be drawn in a random manner not A, B, C, D but just a random selection. You can see this in the uh, diagram here. Uh, the letters are all random from A to Z. This was repeated on the inner circle but using this time a different random selection. We don't want the same sequence as the outer ring. We need two discs so we need to make four copies of the diagram. That's uh, two inner and two outer. You see why. You can use the card for this but I laminated each piece of paper so as to give a rigid disc. The two outer and two inner discs are carefully cut out to give the parts for each disc. One inner disc is joined to one outer disc, whichever way you want to use. I used a small bolt and nut, as you can see in the photo, but you can use uh, press studs, anything like that. So now the inner disc can rotate, the outer disc can be kept still, and you can put any letter against any other letter. Now, how do you use the disc? We need a starting point first of all. A letter from the outer ring must be aligned with the letter from the inner ring. Now, both you and your friend must know which two are used for the start of a message. You could use, uh, for example, the fourth and eighth letters of the previous message so that it changes each time you send a message. Now just read from the outer ring to the inner ring to get the coded letter. The start of this video showed the code for making code disk. The video shows how this is done with the 5th and 11th letters aligned and E on the outer ring is aligned with K on the inner ring. When the message is received, E and K are aligned first and the message is decoded by reading from the inner ring so that O decodes to M. The fifth and eleventh letters of the message are N and D so that N on the outer ring needs to be aligned with D on the inner ring. Because the starting point changes with each message this code is difficult to crack. To make it even more difficult you could change the starting point, say, every tenth time to uh, maybe the fourth and eighth letter. Look at the completed disc and see you next time.
The first thing to do was to align E with K, so we'll move the inner disk until E and K are lined up. If the message is going to be making, on the outer ring we'll look for M, which is M is here, which gives us O as the first letter. A is J, K is W, I is G, N is X and G is S. So that gives us a code O, J, W, G, X, S for making. And code, well, C is N, O is V, D is C, and E is K. That's code. And disk is C, G, L, W. So that gives us a message we're going to send is, as we saw before, O, J, W, G, X, S, N, V, C, K, C, G, L, W. And that's a message your friend would receive from you. When we receive the message, the first thing we need to do is align E with K, like so. And then going around the message now, we'll read from the inner ring outwards. So O becomes M. J becomes A, W becomes K, G becomes I, X becomes N and S becomes G which is making and the message is decoded as uh, making code disk. I didn't put making a code disk because single letters are too hard, easy to decode. So whatever possible, try to avoid single letters like A or I. And it's also best to avoid repeating letters like EE or LL. It makes it a bit easier to decode. So that's what happens when you receive a message. Now the next time you get a message, we need to use the fifth and 11th letters of the previous message. In this case, they are N and D. So when you receive the next message, the first thing you would do is align N, which is N, with D, wherever D is, round here, N with D. That's the starting point or the alignment point of the message. So this shows you how to use the decoding ring or the coding ring to send and receive messages. It's not easy for anyone to crack the code. Easier if they have the disk, but without the disk it's, it's nearly impossible because each day the alignment of the letters changes. Thank you.